Hey guys, so I'm filming my April favorites today, but before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know that today's the last day to enter my giveaway for the $50 gift card for Mac. Um, it's going to be ending one minute before midnight tonight. Today is April 29th, so if you're watching this April 8th, after April 29th, then just kind of disregard that, but I am going to be putting up another giveaway video right after I film this because I hit 500 subscribers yesterday, which is really exciting. Like one day before my 100 subscribers contest ends, I hit 500, so that was pretty exciting. Okay, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, I got a new camera, so let me know what you guys think of this quality as opposed to my other videos. Um, all except the very first three videos, they're all you. Um, the first three were using my webcam, and then all the ones after that were using a different camera. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. This one is the Sony Cybershot, um, I think it's like W290 or something. I'll write it like right here. And that's the phone ringing. Finally. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's just get into the favorites. Okay, so my first favorite this month is the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Sun Splash Clear Self Tanning Gel. Um, as you can see, I've only used this much, but I have done, I think, about five or six applications, and I haven't even used like a quarter of the bottle. And what I do with this is I mix it about one third of this with two thirds of a moisturizer. And this is the one that I use the Vaseline. Um, cocoa butter lotion. Make sure if you're going to be using this or any other self tanning product you use gloves and to get the backs of my hands tan I use um, well actually I've never really had an issue with just like using the glove to kind of wipe whatever's extra on to, onto there and just kind of blend it into my wrist but I've also used makeup sponges to do it and that works great as well um, I've also used this on my face and it hasn't broken me out, so that's a good thing. The only downfall with this is that it's clear, it's not tinted, so you can't see where you're putting it. Um, and it's a gel, so it dries really quickly. Um, that's why I mix it with the lotion to kind of keep it like from drying too quickly. And also to pre prevent it from streaking, because it dries so fast, it'll be really prone to streaking. So. Yeah, and I think this was, I think about 12 or $13 at Shoppers Drug Mart, and it was on sale from regular, like, 17 bucks, and it's still on sale. I was there yesterday, and it's still on sale for that price, so, along with all their other, um, Sublime Bronze self-tanners, so they had, like, the one-day, um, like, instant self-tanner, but it wasn't gradual, and then they had this, and then they had the spray, so like a, it was different than this. It wasn't a gel, it was like a spray tanner. I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> okay, my next favorite is a hair product, and I'm sure everyone on here has seen this product before because everyone loves it on YouTube. It's the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. And I have been using this for years. Like, and the bottle lasts you forever, seriously. Like, I have other um, heat protectants, but the reason I keep going back to this one is because it smells so good. Like, the smell stays in my hair, and it just smells amazing. Okay, and my next favorite is the Moroccan Oil Oil Treatment. And as you can see, I'm down to here in my bottle. And this is like the mini, mini bottle. Like, this is like, it's not very much product, but at the same time it is, because you don't use, like, any, hardly anything um, per use. And I've had this bottle for a year. Um, the first time I heard about it was from City and Makeup, and I started watching her a year ago, and it was in her hair routine that I saw it, and I ordered it, like, right away. <laughs> so, yeah, so this has lasted me a year, and the only reason it's down this far is because there's been, like, two times where I've actually, like, dumped a little bit into my hand instead of going like this, and I just put it on my hair overnight and then wash it out in the morning. So if I hadn't have done that a couple times, it'd probably be like up to here still, and it's down to here. So so this bottle is going to last me forever. 
Okay, my next three favorites are nail polishes, and I've been really into painting my nails this month, probably because I haven't been working very many hours, so I've had more days off to have my nails painted. Um, the first one is Revlon's Lilac Pastel, which is just a really, really, really light pinkish um, lavender color. I love this. It's so, like, it's really, really subtle, so it's nice. Um, yeah. My next favorite is Essie's Mint Candy Apple, which I've worn in a lot of my recent videos. Um, this is everything that I wanted for Audrey to be. Like, for Audrey on the nails, to me at least, it's just a little bit, like, dusty looking. Like, it's not as vibrant as I'd like it. And this is, like, perfect. My next favorite, I just got this yesterday, but I put it on last night. And it takes about three to four coats to get it completely opaque but once you get it to that like opaqueness it's amazing and it's Essie's Fiji it's just a really nice like light 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 pink but on the nails it's like a bold light pink if you know what I mean at least for me because my like I don't even think I'm that tan and it makes my skin look like really dark <laughs> so it makes the nail polish look really bold Okay, my next favorite is a moisturizer, and this is the one that I used all last summer. Um, I stopped using it in the winter time because it's just a light moisturizer. So when my skin got drier, I needed something a little heavier, which was my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. But this one that I've been loving is the Clean and Clear Finishes Pore Perfecting Moisturizer. And it's oil-free with an SPF of 15. When I first started using it, because um, it smells like sunscreen, so if you don't like that smell, um, I don't, I wouldn't recommend this. But it just reminded me of summer. I was like, oh, I want summer to come now because it just reminded me of last summer because I always wore this. My next favorite is a lip balm, um, and it's the Nivea Milk and Honey. Now in the states, you guys have like the Kiss of Moisture, Kiss of Milk and Honey, or something. In Canada, we don't have any of the Kiss of anything. At least not, not from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, I just picked this one up, and then I started hearing about the Kiss of Milk and Honey. I was just like, I wonder if it's the same one, and then I saw someone, like, show it, because it's, like, a dark yellow color. I was like, oh yeah, that's the same one. It's got, like, these little bees on it. So cute. My next favorite is a highlighter, and it's the Hard Candy Glow All The Way in Doll Face, and it's a shimmery pink. Like, this is a ton of product. Like, I am never going to go through this because you guys know, like, for highlighter, you you use, like, this much. Like, I am never going to use this whole thing. But, um, like, once it's rubbed into the skin, it's not super, super pink. It just kind of gives that, like, iridescence. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but I just, like, rubbed it into my skin and it's just very, like, glowy. Um, this one's great for, um, like, pink undertones, like, people who have pink undertones in their skin, which I do. And I think this was, like, $5 or something, so I mean, $5 for this much of a highlighter, like, that's insane. And my cat is walking on my lap right now. Um, okay, lay down. Um, so yeah, I really, really love this. It's just, I don't even have it on right now, which is weird, but I just didn't feel like putting a highlight on. My next favorite is the e.l.f. Contour and High, er, Contour and Blush Duo, and it's this right here. This is supposed to be a dupe for NARS Orgasm and Laguna Bronzer. Okay, your claws are getting into my skin, so... Okay. Um, I've been using the bronzer a little bit, but it's really, really dark for me, and it's really pigmented. So, like, that was, like, hardly even touching it, so, I mean... I don't know. I just feel like it can be really easy to go overboard with this one because it's just so pigmented. I mean, it's fine for, like, contouring, but I don't like it, like, going all over this area with it. I'll just use it as contour and then use my NYC um, Sunny Bronzer for, like, this area and my jawline. But I've just been really, really loving the blush in this. Like, it's so pretty. It's a peachy color with like golden shimmer so there's the blush and there's the bronzer 
Um, I'm actually wearing the blush right now and I'm wearing it over another favorite which I will talk about next. Okay, so my next favorite is the Maybelline, um, I think it's the Moisture Renew Lipstick in Cool Watermelon. And I have it on my lips and on my cheeks right now. I use my lip or my lipsticks as cream blushes a lot. Because um, I have like, I wouldn't say I have a ton of lip lipsticks, but I have enough that like, I don't, I'm never going to use them all. So, might as well start finding other, other uses for them. But this is cool watermelon. It's a coral, and it's more on the pink side, which I like. I don't really like orange colors on my skin. So there it is there. So yeah, I just have that on my lips right now, like really, really lightly. I blotted after I put it on because I don't want it to be super vibrant. But um, I have it like on my cheeks and then just blended it in with my finger and then I dusted my e.l.f. blush over top and it looks gorgeous. Okay, next favorite is another e.l.f. blush product and it's the e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink. If I can open it. Um, that's what it looks like. I don't even know if you can see the actual color, but... It's really pigmented. It's just like, it's a little bit peachy, but it's not overly peach. It's like, I don't know, it's like a happy mix of pink and peach, I guess. But I really like it. It's just a nice natural color for me. Okay, next favorite is a concealer, and it's the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer in Light. And I love this for under my eyes. You literally need, like the end of a pen, like the little part where like you write with, like the very very end, that's that's how much you need for underneath both of your eyes, like it's insane. And these concealers tend to be kind of like yellow toned, like they don't have any pink undertones in them, um, which is good for under your eyes, but I wouldn't really recommend it for blemishes. Um, if you have like a pink undertone, you don't really want it like anywhere else in your face except for under your eyes. My next favorite is a lipstick again, but I just used this one on my lips, and it's the Revlon Lipstick in Primrose. And this is like my all-time favorite lipstick ever. I love it. Um, it's very like purpley, but it's not too purple where you can't really wear it every day. It's like pink and purple mixed. There's what the swatch looks like. And there's no shimmer to it. It's just like a cream lipstick. Okay, so that was all of my favorites for the month of April. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, what were your favorites for this month? Um, do you guys like any of these products? Do you not like any of these products? Let me know. Um, oh, and if you're not following me on Twitter, you probably should. Because <laughs> I'm like on Twitter all the time. Like, I always have like a few tabs open like 24 7 when I'm on the computer and that's Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Those are like the three things that I always 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 have open. Uh, send me a message on Twitter or something because I'd love to talk to you guys. Um, all 500 something of you. I don't know exactly how many there are but 500 something. Oh and I also have a daily booth. Um, I post pictures a couple times a week usually. Um, I'm probably gonna take a picture after this one with a, like a few of my favorite products. I'll just like hold them up. <laughs> There's this guy that's following me from like Scotland and on one of my video on one of my pictures he was like you're just a giant product placement or something like that because I'm always like holding something up like I have a video where I'm holding this up and I don't know like I don't really know what else to do in my pictures besides like hold things that I'm using or that I'm drinking or eating or whatever. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Daily Booth if you have them. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!